and good day everyone, Owen Asuris here, and today we are looking at a game I got on sale recently on Steam, I think it was about 99 cents or 1.99, it's called Coffee Crawl. It is a roguelike, uh, it has some persistent elements to it, you have a base, and I think you do slowly start to upgrade, I haven't gotten that far in it, in fact I just now today figured out how to change classes. And it is a game set in the, I guess, kind of a dystopian future where everyone has fallen asleep except for 15 people. You're one of those 15 people, and uh, rather than all work together, everyone kind of just sets off on their own and decides to go and do pretty much, it seems, whatever before they all fall asleep. So let us go ahead and continue here. So here we will see the area where you start, the base, and there's all sorts of stuff you can do here. You can change what your character looks like. I don't want to do that right now, so I'll just use that. Change your name. Now this does bring up one of the issues I have, like I can't actually type in the game to do, like name my character. I have to go and just t manually type over, hit OK. I have to use the arrow keys. Oops in order to move, the WASD keys don't let you move in this case. The QWER keys use like skills, kind of like a MOBA does, and the 1 and 2 key, one uses your food, if you have any in your inventory, which restores hit points. Two uh, restores your coffee points, it's kind of like your skill points, you're drinking coffee. You can kind of see I missed the meeting here, and you can see my lifetime record. There's a picture here. So the game, it kind of is turn-based, but the enemies move around in real time. It's kind of hard to explain unless you've actually played it. So I finally figured out these. Let me change classes. I'm going to start the first run. I'm going to be a generic. I think that works. And there's no way to re-customize the keys, which is kind of annoying because you have to hit the top left, that little, like apostrophe or the, is it a schwa? Whatever, to bring up your inventory. So I doesn't bring up your inventory. I kind of wish I could remap it to the I key. Then C brings up all your different stats and abilities. Don't accidentally hit exit game while you're recording because it will mess up your game and your recording. I did that a little while ago and I'm, now I'm kind of having to re-record. And you can see there are lots of different mechanics in this game. You got stats, attributes, fortes. I uh, really, what you need to know is map nodes. The maps kind of look like a mess in this game, but there's lots of stuff going on. But basically every map, you want to beat the boss and then get to the exit. And then, you got all your peers. So these are all the other people who are also awake in this world. And the last one you'll see there is Anarchy. You can hit the A key to enter Anarchy mode, which allows you to break uh, laws. Like if there's a locked door, rather than finding a key, you can actually go into Anarchy mode and kick it down, which is kind of cool. But if you like police see you, then you get in trouble. Let's go ahead and go on out. I didn't turn off the lights. So you start here in the cavern. You can see at top left, you got your life points. And let's see, it didn't change my class. I thought I'd pick the generic class, but instead I am, I believe, a bandit. Because my top ability lets me get one dollar from an enemy and also do 200% damage. Okay, and that's the one I use the most. So you can see the map almost looks a little like Binding of Isaac or Zelda or other games in that vein. You have a grid-based system. I can go north, south, east, or west. If I go north, it looks like I'm going to run into a zoo. There's some sort of presence. Gathering, I kind of want to go to the gathering to see what's happening. So as you can see, the enemies move in real time, but let me go fight one here. Oh, well, that was quick. And there's a crafting element to this game, so you want to kind of break down items barriers, trees, and things. Okay, let me go ahead and do this. 
So you can see I'm kind of fighting the enemy. We're taking turns. So it's almost like a roguelike if you were just, like, I guess running into an enemy on your left and just hammering the left key. So that y'all were both just kind of going almost like a real-time pace. I know it takes a little while to get used to it. I don't even know if I'm fully used to it yet. Okay. I didn't do too hot on the slot machine there. And if I hit one, I'll eat more food. Two, we'll use more coffee. So I want to go up north and see all my friends at this gathering. Kaput. I like it when they say kaput when you kill them. That's kind of funny. So I cleared this room. Let's go to the gathering here. Locker. Guess that'll let me store stuff between games. Shoot. Okay, I'm kind of trapped in this room, so... Trying to take out this enemy here. Oh. All is lost. Took him out. That was a tough enemy. Yeah, it's kind of another thing about this game is sometimes it's hard to tell how powerful enemies are. Oh, our room clears, so... I can use this pillow to sleep. Got a gambler here. Nurse that healed me. Nice. An Uber. It'll take me all these different places. Let's go to a classroom. Wait, what is that? I don't have enough money. I can't pay. Okay. Now I should be able to pay. There I go, a $5 Uber trip. I'm Sid. Alright, he wants 15 citrus, I'll get you that. Paul. No, I don't have anything for you, Paul, sorry. Uh, wants me to... Okay... Oh, it wanted me to move that. That was my mistake. I didn't understand what it wanted me to do. Golems. Okay, let's use that. Now, last time I was playing, I kept running into enemies that just, like, killed me really quick without much warning. Let's see, I want to go down. Ow. Okay, I'm not going to be able to go down. Oh, well. It looked like a wall you could get in, but it's not. Go and use some coffee. I'm trying to see if I can get to a boss. I'm trying to avoid these mine carts too. Oh no no no! I can't. No, 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 no. Okay, that minecart is pretty annoying. And room cleared, okay. 
Yeah, sometimes if you use Anarchy, you can open these barricaded areas. Doesn't look like... Oh, shoot, there's a briefcase there. And now it won't let me go back. Well, I made it to level, or hour two, I should say. Card. There's a pillow. And I currently can't... Level one. All right, I leveled up. Nice. Plus one to all stats. And got Salisy here. Alright, what does she want? I'll give you a gift. Here, uh, you want some paper? Yep, not a bribe. I was just offering you paper. I'm being nice. Thought you might want to write down, like, eh, your experiences or something. Okay, let's see. X is a exclusive, so I can go to exclusive, go down, and hopefully hit a boss. My inventory. So let's start like this. So here we're at a boss area. Let's see, where is the boss? That guy is draining my health. No! Wait, are you the boss? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, as you can see, things can get out of hand really quick. That is one annoying thing about this game is... Get stuck real easily between two enemies. <laughs> I took women's wear from him, okay. At least I assume that's a guy. Alright, I'm out of hit points. Which is not really a position I want to be in. Kind of doing like the thing you do in roguelike. Okay. I was going to say where you like go around a pillar and keep moving around. Okay. So there I go. Never actually got this screen before. Reputation minus 12. Score zero. Well. Oh well. At least I got a score. Never got one before. So, plus two to my level. Nice. So, let us see if we can figure out what that... Generic bandit, lawful evil. Okay. So, then level two... I don't see evidence of that. Okay, initial for... Chaotic neutral, okay. Last... Grave last score. Generic bandit. Yes. Okay. Doesn't always seem to be. There we are. There 
we are. I got my generic bandit score in there. Unlock level two. Okay, so I've unlocked maybe another class. Not really sure. It wasn't 100% specific on what exactly I unlocked. But that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. I am going to play it some more, and we'll probably come back next week and look at maybe a couple of different classes, because that was just the Bandit class. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, this quick look at Coffee Crawl. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to a channel where I will update with more roguelike footage as the weeks progress. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.